Hi everybody, it's Roxy from Feather Perfect Memories bringing for you today a 12 by 12 double page layout for October. Um, I have named this one Pumpkin Carving because um, it was Halloween. Uh, so um, I'm using the Spooktacular 6 by 8 paper pad by Bella Boulevard and I just chose a few papers out of there and I'm just trimming them down um, to uh, just make a, a stripe across the um, the bottom half of the paper. I'm just kind of going off of um, this Pinterest um, page I found. I find that a lot of the time um, these Pinterest pages are just one-sided or, or just a single layout and I, I do double layouts in my books so um, I kind of just make it up as I go and just run with an idea that I see. So I'm just using my um, edge puncher to punch out this scallop in the um, orange and that's going to go all the way across and then I used um, that kind of um, arrowed orange one um, like chevron arrows um, but it kind of looks like it's hand drawn uh, so that's the bigger portion of the stripe across there and I'm just cutting it all down so it because it was a 6 by 8 page it's obviously not 12 inches across so I'm just going with the flow. This, uh, um, oh, what do you call it, um, <laughs> uh, trim is um, from Freckled Fawn and um, it is sticky backed and I love it. I even ended up buying a second one. Uh, so that's just going to go across there as well. I'm just measuring my photos because I want them to all be the same size. Um, so I was just taking my ruler here and trying to figure out what size I wanted them to be because I wanted, I chose the one with the biggest, um, the this the photo that I that I was going to cut the biggest and kind of gauged it from there. Um, so I'm making them all the same size. Um, I will um, also give them a mat in just plain black. Um, I go searching for that. Here I'm just sanding the edges. I just think it gives it a nice finished um, touch. And I did it in the middle so you guys can see because every time I do it you guys can't see what I'm doing. But I need to, it's so much easier to do it over the edge of the desk that I decided, oh, who cares, I'll just do it like this. Um, so I'm getting up to get black matte paper, I think. Uh, I'll be coming back with it. Here we go. So this is just Kazercraft Black. Um, what's it called? licorice. So I'm just trimming these, um, the width of these photos down because I didn't take into account that I wanted to map them and then they weren't going to fit across the page. So I just trimmed the width of them really quickly there. Tearing them down to this um, licorice colored paper and going to trim off the, edge, the end, bits, end bits and those will just tuck underneath that scallop. Um, so on this day, um, we carved pumpkins. I, car I helped my daughter carve a pumpkin. Um, and when I first moved to Australia, I could never find pumpkins here. But now they have them in the grocery stores, but they are so expensive. Um, but I buy one every year because it's a tradition. So um, last year was the first time we carved with Ayla, obviously, because she's only two. So, um, but I have done it in previous years. So I'm just, um, I have this stamp set from Stamping Up and it's called Googly Ghouls and I have been wanting to use this stamp set for ages. So I decided that this was the day and I was going to use it on um, this page and so I am using my Versamark ink pad to ink out all of these images and I'm using embossing powder and this is a really old embossing powder so if you guys are interested I don't even know it's available anymore it's probably 15 years old um, and it's called um, rubber mania stamps that's who it's made by and the color is black confetti but it's like black with um, purple pink and turquoise confetti in it. it is so pretty as you can kind of see it um, reflecting the light as I put it back in the container so I've just embossed all of those images and then I will fussy cut around them. Um, oh, I decided, uh, oh yeah, here I am going to fussy cut. So with the Boo one, I decided I didn't like how it looked fussy cut around. So I ended up re-stamping that 
and re-embossing it and um, making it into a banner that says boo. Um, so um, I'm pretty happy with this page. It turned out really cute. So some of the other embellishments that I've ended up using on the page um, are some twine, um, a pumpkin doily, and um, spiderweb doilies. Those are from Christy at um, Sweet Girl Designs. Um, and so she sent me a little care package of some Halloween themed things. So that was really awesome. Um, and I'm also going to use some washi tape um, and just some ephemera left, left over from my um, Project Life um, from that month. And it's also from the Spooktacular kit. They're just little die cuts. Um, so now I'm just going through and adhering down all of the pieces that I've cut, a, cut apart. Um, and then my tape gun ran out of um, tape. So I'm using just um, a roll of tape now. I don't like to refill it when I'm in when I'm in the middle. Like if I'm focused and and going, I don't like to refill it. So I just use um, my tape roll and then refill it um, before the next time I scrapbook. So that was the right hand side. Now I'm working on the left hand side. Just going to adhere this all down so everything is even all the way across. So I've just butted up those papers. It doesn't really bother me. It's close enough, and I cut it so that the design looks like it keeps going. Um, and it doesn't really bother me. By the time all the embellishments and things are on there, you can't really tell unless you're really looking for it. And if you're looking for it that hard, then you'll find mistakes anyways. Um, so just going to um, adhere down uh, this matted photo here for the left hand side and then I have trouble getting it in there. So then I just put it down and then peel back um, that that piece of orange um, paper that I had there and it peeled it back too much so then I taped it underneath so make sure that it would stick, stick down. Just going to use this leftover piece of pumpkin doily I have. I cut it in two pieces so I can have it on both the left side and the right side. I'm just um, going to mess around with embellishments for a little bit here trying to figure out exactly where I want everything. So I've just got a pile of embellishments I have left over from my project life um, for earlier in the month um, and just um, going to fiddle around with it. Now this banner I thought was too orange in the end so I get out this washi tape that's um, black with skull and crossbones so it um, is fitting for <laughs> this page I thought and just cutting it around so it's still a banner but then there's just that little bit of um, black around the edge. I do tie that in and use that washi tape throughout the page in the end. And here's some of the twine I was telling you about. This is from Christy, that twine. Um, I just moved it again. Um, here I am just trying to place down all of those stamped images. I want to use every single one. <laughs> As I said, I've been trying to use this stamp set for ages. I think this stamp set I bought it two or three years ago and I've never used it so I really wanted to have the opportunity to use it so um, I did and I'm very happy with it. I used every single image. Um, and then I'm deciding which alphas I'm using and I decided on these puffy alpha stickers and they are white but they have a, a sparkle in them so they kind of went with my embossing powder and I didn't have an A so I used this at symbol and cut off the the roundy part. It's a bit obvious but it works for me. It's not perfect but I wanted to use it anyways. So just adhering down in that pumpkin doily and trying to figure out where I'm going to put this bat and I decided to put them up on puffy uh, pop dots and, and just put it over the C for pumpkin carving. And then there's my little zombie and um, I had trouble with the adhere, the um, the tape and and using it on these um, spider webs, but I finally got it. And I am putting the skull there on top of the spider web and my little spider. He's so cute. And then pop dotting this one up. And I think that's the little mummy, or is it the witch? Yeah, that's the witch. And this one's the mummy. Oh no. This one is the pumpkin doily. This one is like a little um, poison bottle and then the mummy. 
next to the poison bottle. My banner is just going to go above that and then I decided I needed a little bit of journaling so I'm just um, taking this black and white um, paper that I had left over and punching it out. I decided to punch it twice and then I was going to use the purple and then I thought, whoa, the purple is just throwing it way off. I will use the orange then because there was no other purple in the, in the photos or the page so I thought it was really stuck out like a sore thumb. Using some tiny word stickers from Tim Holtz and it says jack-o'-lantern carving and then I date stamp it as you saw I've just flicked through my photos to find the date that I did that we did it um, and just using this as a little tag on top of that spider web here's more of that washi tape I'm gonna sprinkle it all over the layout just so it kind of ties it all in and then I'm going to um, use this twine and just ball it up in places and staple it down. I'm out of staples for my Tim Holtz um, stapler so I, I really need to order that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy 12 by 12 layouts and um, I'd like to take this time to thank you for watching and have a lovely day. Bye for now.